Choosing a career is not a serious affair until grade 12. However, once you are done with grade 12, it is necessary to choose your path. Unfortunately, not many students are able to discover their potentials and interests at this stage, and this is when pressure starts building. Choosing the right career option, keeping the market in mind, is necessary, but selecting the right education institution is equally important. To discuss this matter further, I had the pleasure to interview Middle East University professor Dr. Patrizia Ongisto. As dean of the Faculty of Business Administration, she says her aim is to help students become independent thinkers and citizens of integrity. A lot of students nowadays uh, get into majors that they don't necessarily end up using in their in their careers. So is uh, is that the case for a lot of students uh, joining Middle East University? Yes, this is a question that uh, many students and parents ask themselves, and uh, it's 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 true. It's going on. I see it not just at the university, also within my family. And uh, students uh, think that maybe whatever they have imagined will will come true like a plan. But things sometimes go different. And uh, it, it happens that uh, when you go to working life, and working life is a lot messier than studies when you have a more of a structure curriculum, uh, then you see that uh, something draws you to another, another, di another direction. And also, um, I wouldn't call it as uh, a negative thing. Somehow I, I, I feel many are worried about that. Some students ask me, you know, uh, will I find a job in this? Will, will there be uh, a place for me? And uh, that is uh, it's not uh, as negative, I would say, as maybe it sounds to a student or to the parents. Because studying is what uh, prepares you for for different life situations, for different jobs, uh, people end up having uh, several careers. Uh, they start with one, they continue with another, and uh, as long as uh, they are enjoying what they're doing, uh, I think the studies they took actually prepared them to uh, face these situations and do their best. Does Middle East University have any uh, proper counseling um, guide for, for students joining every year? Oh, that's a very good question. In fact, we have had during the spring uh, several uh, ideas on how we can improve that and we're uh, working on this. It's a, it's a process that we feel is very important. So what we're planning and uh, we'll be doing is uh, to talk to students or applicants one-to-one uh, -one and in groups. And what is important is actually to uh, to find out for themselves what is their plan, how do they see themselves in in life, and uh, and uh, realize that maybe the what they imagine uh, their profession will be is is actually not what comes from their core. That they have talents or passion for for certain things that they didn't realize before, and sometimes this is important for parents as well to realize. So, speaking of parents, do you uh, involve them in the counseling process? Sure, they are definitely part of the process, and uh, it's uh, it's very hard for parents because the world markets and the economy change and technology changes uh, things how things are done methodology even in education and uh, and definitely what jobs look like now and will look in the future so sometimes uh, for parents uh, there is a, an element of uncertainty will they be able to succeed in the way that they actually have imagined for their child or will there be a you know, a lack of this, the jobs that they, maybe the child or the, the young person wants, wants to do. So we include them in the process and uh, our Faculty of Education also has uh, 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 several conferences for parents where they go through what is uh, maybe the new, the new type of education that leads the, the, their young people to realize what is uh, going to be uh, the trend when they graduate. So now I have a little bit of a personal question for you. What pushed you to join Middle East University and what difference do you hope to accomplish? Yes, that's a question that I, I ask myself very often. 
And of course, uh, what I had in mind when I, uh, before I prepared to come and, and what uh, has been going on is, is, is uh, different. So like we can say I had the same experiences, maybe some of the graduates that when they go in working life, it looks different. And uh, uh, Middle East University is a, is a, has been a bigger university, let's say before the war, it's an old university from 1939, but uh, now we are we're trying to, uh, you know, put it back on the map and uh, and grow. So my my expectation was to expand Middle East University and help in that, and maybe add uh, some of the uh, fields that were not taught yet. One of them would be, for instance, uh, innovation, which uh, which uh, I. I was involved in before, and uh, we're working on that. And, and uh, it it needs to have the right the right time to actually be relevant also in Lebanon.